Hey, Ramon. It's that time of year. Twats in the hat said it again. He's done some more outrageous bull crap. And I thought uh, we'd play it here and we could get your reaction. I know you haven't seen this video, folks, so Ramon's about to see it for the first time. Here you go, Ramon. Take it away. All right. Rape them and uh, they order the rest to watch as the others are raped. One woman was raped uh, ten was raped by ten men, not ten times, by ten different men. The other one by eight, the other one by six, the other one by four, three, and all the the the, the one 19 year old was lucky. If it is lucky, that was raped by one man. Uh, all right. So according to this. This video is going to be demonetized, so I don't give a fuck. According to this toss of a so-called fucking police minister, if you're raped once by one man or 10 times by one man, you are luckier than someone who was raped once six times by six other men. Like this is the minister of police who says, you know what? You know what, everyone, in the name of equality, everyone gets raped, but you should consider yourself lucky because you only got raped 10 times by one person rather than six times by six other people. And this is the man who's supposed to solve the crime issue against women and rape issue against women in South Africa. This is the, the sort of barbaric backwards thinking of an ANC government minister that thinks, you know, that it's perfectly lucky to be raped 10 times by one man. Is this really what we're playing with in terms of leadership and authority in South Africa? Is this the people that are really here? So uh, we shouldn't be surprised, but sometimes, you know, as soon as you talk about women being hurt or, or animals being hurt or children being hurt, one would hope he has a sense of fucking dignity to say that it's all abhorrent. We are going to pursue these people to the end of the earth and make sure there's justice. But he says, oh no, you actually quite lucky if you get raped by one person. Like it's, it's, um, let me, this video will actually be completely destroyed by YouTube if I carry on. So go ahead, Byron. I'm actually a little bit too cross to think properly. Yeah, basically, uh, whilst uh, Lindili Susulu, the uh, the favorite uh, brainchild of the ANC, was talking about if a man rapes somebody, they should be chemically castrated so that they never get to rape again. The Minister of uh, Jokes, um, has said that uh, you heard it correctly. If uh, if a woman gets raped ten times by one guy, as opposed to ten times by ten by or ten times by ten different men, like she's so lucky. So you know, almost can count your blessings. Like you know, the fact is, what you should have said is is actually abhorrent. We we decry all rape. We're going to stop all rape. Doesn't matter if you've been raped one by one, once by one guy, or ten times by ten different guys. Like doesn't make a difference. All rape is an orange and we don't agree with it. The same government that tends to pretend to care about gender-based violence has this clown in charge of policing. And here he is. He says, on recording, you've seen it. The words are in the text. You can read it along if you can't understand them. There he is. He says, uh, you know, we should just be privileged because you only been raped once. And, yeah, uh, I mean, he's not even on. a clown, Byron. The problem is he's not even a clown. He is, this is evil. This is fundamentally evil to think that, you know, out of like, you know, some Jews were luckier than the rest in the Holocaust. No, like it, it's terrible for absolutely everyone that went through what these poor women went through. And to say it in public on a live camera interview to say that, oh, one was lucky compared to the others. It's just so tone deaf and, and malevolent that it, it is beyond my scope of trying to understand it charitably because there is no way to understand this charitably he literally has said some rapes are better than others in yep. 2022 like after after like women's rights and third wave feminism and all that this guy still thinks that you know there are better ways to hurt a woman than others it's just i, I, just, I just have no words I, I really am gobsmacked for the first time in my life i just don't have any words for this yeah, but it, if you know, if he didn't take this stance, he'd have to do things like actually investigate crimes and put on put online the DNA testers, which we all know are currently offline because yeah. the police haven't paid their budgets. So it's kind of like you know, if he actually took this issue seriously, he'd have to stop looting the departments and actually do some proper investigations. So it's much easier just to kind of downplay it and go, "Oh well, you know, worst case scenario, you only get married, you only get raped by one guy, and you're lucky. Like, okay, it's not as big a deal." 
I kind of get what he's trying to say. He's trying to kind of say, well, on the vi- on the victim scale, he's going, well, if you've had this really awful experience as opposed to this this awful experience, it's not as bad. I kind of get that that's what he's trying to say, but it's like proper morally bankrupt, man. You can't kind of say that kind of bullshit regardless. Like crime is crime. You can't say, well, you know, I shot 10 guys. So that's really bad. But, you know, the alternative is I only shot one. So, you know, you're, that, you're lucky. Well, yeah, you're lucky if you're the guys that are standing there passing judgment. If you got that guy that got shot, you don't care if it was the guy who got shot, like you're the only guy that got shot or you you were one of 10 that got shot. A person that's been shot, shot. It's like there isn't a moral equivalent. No. So it's easy for him to kind of say this and make it a moral equivalent when it's not him that's being the victim of crime. I'm pretty sure that any of the women, regardless of how many times they were raped or by whom, they find the the whole experience just as traumatic. It It's not... You can't minimize the degree of violence, like, and it's it's weird, you know. But I mean, what do you expect from a commie, mate? What do you expect from a commie? No, but it's true. Just- but uh, I mean, I mean, he's minimizing a, a, a very t- terrible crime against against women. And number two, this is the first time I see this clip. There's no article about this anywhere. Where's all the feminist groups, right? Where's all the groups that say, you know, steering is like whatever rape if you look at a woman in a funny way? Like, where are all those groups now? Don't they exist anymore? Why isn't Becky Taylor on his nope. knee, isn't on his knees crying and begging for mercy for saying, I don't think it's even a slip of the tongue, for saying this truly horrifically sexist thing against the women of South Africa, especially the women who have been victims of the most disgusting crime against women which is rape like no one like like come on guys like this is Cyril Ramaphosa's minister of police uh, nothing nothing where's all the NGOs where's all the charitable organizations that care for women where's rape crisis center where's any of these people like come on man I know we accept a lot of shit in South Africa but to 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 to, to accept this like, it's not even morally bankrupt. It's like bottom of the barrel, below the barrel, scraping of morality. That's absolutely disgusting. I don't know what to say to you, man. So I'm minister of police, huh? Like, all we can do is kind of bring it to light and just be like, we said it once, we said it twice, but this government don't care about you, man. They don't care about anybody. Black, white, Indian, colored. That ain't, that doesn't make a difference. Only thing they care about is how they can fill their coffers. And whenever they kind of come with real issues, they just minimize those real issues and just make them seem like they're not as important. And he has a good example of it. You know, it's like, I don't know, man. What can I say? Yeah. yeah. They're quite willing to fill their coffers by filling up coffins. I think I think that should be quite obvious. They've been willing to do that for a long time. Man. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, even if it means a woman being raped. Oh, well, there's no money for DNA. I mean, because, you know, I, I've pocketed all the money, so I don't give a shit. So if you fill up the coffins because you've been raped or because you've been killed by GBV, oh, well, we'll just say maybe you're luckier than the other victims. But I'm still rich. That's literally the mindset of the ANC. I mean... The other, you know, that's the, mind, that's the mindset of every com exist ever, mate. Yeah, I mean, there, there uh, are many other that's countries. The mindset of all of them. There are many other countries in the world that are awful. There are many other governments in the world that are awful. But the uniquely awful thing about the ANC is how much they actually don't even have an inkling of giving a fuck. Like not even like a little bit of care about trying to act like they care. Like there's nothing there. Absolutely nothing. Even the worst dictators in the world are like, okay, we should have an expression of, you know, what the people want in some way or manner. But yeah, not a, no, no care whatsoever. Nothing. It's not even, they're not even trying to act morally. They are just morally bankrupt over and over again. And let's, not, let's also not forget, this is the same government that, uh, or the same policeman so that wants to take women's rights to own a gun for self-defense. The only thing that many of these women could actually use as an equalizer between being raped and actually standing alone and being able to stand up for themselves. This is the same minister that wants to disarm these people. No. And it's kind of like, you just, have to, you just have to understand who these people are, man. Like if you're pinning your hope on the ANC to solve a problem, it's not gonna happen, man. This is who they got. This is who they got in charge of of uh, of security. You know, you got to take responsibility for yourself because this clown don't give a flying monkeys, man. Yeah, you read it. Oh, you can't say monkey, man. You can say rape and all sorts of things, but monkeys, but you know. Anyway, I said give yeah. a flying monkeys. It's a it's an English term. I'm not calling him a monkey. I wouldn't do that. 
but yeah. I would call him a complete clown because he is a clown. Uh, yeah, but, but not even clown is something that's funny. He's not funny. <laughs> it's just evil. No, just pure, pure malice. No, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't even consider him evil. I don't reckon the guy evil. I just, cons- I actually just think he's just incompetent and stupid. And the funny thing about stupid people is they're the only ones that don't know they're stupid. You know, no. if you're a stupid person, the only people that feel that you're stupid are everyone else. But, and I think that that's a great example for Becky Seller. He's like, he thinks he's actually all right. In fact, there was an interview over the weekend where one of the women's groups actually pressed him and they were like, why don't you resign? There's a lot of calls for you to resign. He says, that's not what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a lot of people telling me I'm doing a really good job and they want me to stay. And you're like, oh, I don't know, man. I've heard, sure. I've, heard of, I've heard of selective hearing and all that, but I mean, this is just kind of taking the cake. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's 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 it's, act, it's actually repugnant. I've got nothing more to say, and uh, yeah, welcome to South Africa. We, you know, you know, rape is not that bad. It's better than other things. Unbelievable. Anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. No more to say. Cheers. Cheers. Bye.